Welcome back to another animation analysis, and this time I'm going to take a look at Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1. This is the teaser trailer, which is, of course, awesome. And I thought, really? I don't know, teaser? It's very short. Do I really need to look at it? I'm going to wait till the next full trailer, maybe. But then I looked at things, and I went, nope, no, 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 I want to take a look at this. Mainly because of head accents. I know this is maybe a weird thing to focus on, but obviously there's a bunch of really cool stuff in here. And at the same time, something that I always harp about to my students is just head accents. So you don't have you know, body mechanics doing something where you know the head and the body are doing one thing, then you just kind of add some lip sync and that's it. There's no connection to this and there's no inflection. There's no personality because you're not having anything in terms of a visual cue of, you know, it's kind of the accents and how the head moves in combination with the lip sync and what they're thinking and so on. So, as I want to go back here to the very beginning, also this is cool. Why? Because in another another dimension, I love this. Like where where are we at? Is that the current dimension? Is this already another one? Is that a multiverse? But then we're going back. I don't know. I love it. Now going back to the head accents here. If you watch this here and there's sound. Just that. I'm sure you're gonna get demonetized by just using that that sound clip. <laughs> but it's already hard enough to add accents that kind of work in terms of lip sync, but this is so in sync with the music. And I love this that it's just like he has, even as the sound goes up, na 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 na, you have that in here. Even just laying down, you have like an implied head move up with the eyebrows. And it's it's kind of a throwback to the first one with him drawing, listening to the music. I love that we start there and it's already with the detail. Look at this here corner moving over. It's all very, very subtle. Massive, massive fan of this. All of this here. It's really just in sync with the music. And then you have a little bit of as, as if he was singing this on his own. I don't know. Maybe it's like a weird thing to focus on right off the bat, but this is super cool. I love it. And actually never animated a character who is bobbing to music or being fully in sync with music. And I can tell you, I just I tried it once a long time ago. It's harder than you think <laughs> to stay in there. But we're getting already into the awesome looking style that the first movie has been famous for. This is cool. I love this here. And then you can see him kind of waking up from hearing his name. Love this too here. It starts to outline him here. You can hear Miles it comes off screen here. And that's great too. If that that could be a great assignment for uh, a class. You know, you're in one certain state, listening to something, or just daydreaming, or just being kind of in a different headspace, and then having an outside stimulus by a voice. Let's say, right? In this case, it's a voice. Could be anything. And how does your character transition from being in that one headspace into the other? And you can see this with that little. This goes up first, nitty gritty here, eye blink or opening of the eye. And still kind of being, not sleepy, but kind of, kind of wake yourself up with some dot, with uh, some blinks. And you can see that bigger blink here, a bit sharper. And I love this too, with the lead with the eyebrow, bringing the head up into, I'm now looking at this. And even then it takes a while to see, come back, process, and then react into that so great and i said it's so great just because this is not easy to do and it's so something that i would prefer students would do instead of doing crazy body mechanics crazy stuff start with this in terms of a what we call a gear change so be like a gear change assignment and then watch her head this just that it's kind of tied into the jaw down jaw down brings the head down but it's kind of like hey got a minute the little thing, well, that this is still influenced by the rest here. And then you got your bigger kind of body mechanic C shot there. But this to me already, like you start with this and you got your hex head accent to whatever you're listening to. And then you have, huh? Even that, a sleepy head accent, which is a part of a lip sync. But just everything is in the heads to me in this trailer until, of course, the, the crazy town in the second part here. And just that. So many times you see this missing in student shots. So students watching this, do not underestimate the combination of like a, an inquisitive head tilt or just a change from even this to this, how much that adds to the shot. And then of course we got the more complicated things of 
this here going into a one frame change to uh, going from this to that there's some other ones where we go we're back on on twos on crazy crazy big post changes from one frame to the next it totally works too it's great but even here when he goes out into whoa over there you have a little bit of overshoot and settle so it doesn't move and pop over there with the sticky all right Bam! it has just enough of a loose feel so we're still within the land of twos but still just every now and then going back into a little bit on ones or just having enough settle to give this weight and overshoot this is great too there a little dark looking at the underwear and then having that wait a minute am i seeing my underwear and then having that take right you got your squash in well i mean like a squash in a way with compression here but then already stretching the head into that it's great this to me is great in terms of yeah, the face mask and mouth shapes again look at when he says gwen right that just that move forward it's like oh wait a minute gwen just that again it's that extra accent going forward of what are you doing here it's great because he's already kind of stuck in this there's not much else he can do he wants to hold on to this because it's floating around so oh, you want to bring in a little bit of a bigger accent you can do that in the head this is something I want to go through on my own too. This would take a five hour um, analysis just to go through all the different shapes. And it's almost like that corner, like that asymmetry. It's great. <laughs> and then you got stuff like this when she comes in and you have that, what is this one frame? A little bit of a, <gasps> what is she doing? Bam, the hair comes in. Look at this, but I love that. This is also the reason why I want to go through this frame by frame. Every single frame art directed. We get beginning to arcane style. Hey, poses still look at this just leading enough right because you don't quite know what's going on a lot of shapes a lot of colors but then you have that big silhouette coming in just leading this for enough frames and then coming in with a really nice line of action through that really anticipating this and leading with that right and then bam coming down but nice lines there too really nice hand poses and despite it being a big move she's very relaxed in her head as well I love all this. And then enough bounce, right? Just have enough weight. Because even if you have something like this, you gotta be very careful to not, like I said before, stop on a dime and give this like some linear keys. Just give this enough mass and fleshiness. And also it's a bouncy bed. And then you have lots of mechanics on him here reacting. Again, with hand accents, right? How did you get? So even with all of this, you could go stiff and he's afraid like oh how did you get here but even then you have just enough of life here i'm just a massive fan of head accents and this could be tied to jaw moving this could be tied to your audio and then you kind of tone it down a little bit great stuff there this too in terms of a quick grab with the lean and you can look at how loose the rest of the body is <laughs> oh, so good and again watch this how have you been he says you have you been just a little bit, how have you been? And it's a bit in the body and a little bit in the head up. Oh, I love this. Love those tiny, subtle accents. But then it's also cool how it can get away with a lot more minimal movement, right? When you have that big move to a student, I would say you got involved that lower part in the chest, but given that it's on twos and just kind of push moments, you can get away with just that, that little, <gasps> And it's kind of cool because it's it really focuses by having just that moving. It really brings everything into this focus before he reacts with the whole body to grab this. That's great too. Look at that little squish on the on the on the plushie here to grab it. Oh, look at that. So great. And then you can see here one of these when it's this pose pop into this. It's a massive change. But it totally works too, just because you have such a big move over one frame and then it doesn't lock. It still has a little compression, right? You go back and you squish out and then you come back a little bit of settle, the last settle being the head. So watch this again. It's cute with the sound too, if you have the sound on. And then you can look at her as she keeps saying. That's great too. Exhale, right? Then you get into a bit more on ones, a little bit on the body. And just that, it's a long story. 
she kind of leads with this and then the head. Because it's not just having head accents when the sound is happening, but you have to also think in terms of, okay, is it, am I leading with the head? Am I leading with the body? Am I then following and then leading with the head? It's like, I know it's all like random words, I'm throwing it out there, but as a student, when you watch this, I would really look at when a body part's moving and which ones are not, what is leading, what is there for silhouette, what is there for line of action. But when it comes to performance, it doesn't always have to be, we're talking, so then the eyes have to move first or the jaw has to move first because we're talking. It could just be eyes closed leading with the shoulder and then moving over and opening the eyes. That's great, so great. Even this here, I know I'm just freaking out in like simple poses, but I just like that pose. I like the asymmetry. I like how she gets into this. Nice hand poses there. Into then moving, she has to move up here. It's almost like she can pull that leg up using this to give room for this leg to come out into that. So in a way, this is your standing up assignment, but in a very interesting way. I don't, I just love that. Even this here, as she gets up and then stays on that leg for a turn into the passing and then that's it. So great. And also in terms of screen direction, like we're, we're here, the eye follows here and as we cut, we're back to this, and then that move brings it over to here, and then this arm brings it over to where we have to look at this here. I'm sure there are a bunch of, I don't know, Mitchells versus the Machines or something uh, somewhere, hidden references, I don't know. But this is a great example of leading the eye, right? You stay here, and we don't do something right over there. It's a nice, it's a nice flow there. Oh, there's so much to look at. I would love to animate all of this. I know, I know, props, but I love animating props. Also just enough hair movement to give this enough life without being all flowy and silky. This is great too. Something actually I've never done is keeping uh, like the head really, lo not locked, but like there's a lot of weight on this and you still talk so that your accent is really, and the head is really pushed with the jaw as it goes down, it's gonna hit that hand. So then as the jaw goes down and, and contacts the hand, it kind of pushes the skull up a bit. Watch him. Just a bit, it's actually mostly lower, so it kind of doesn't do what I said. <laughs> but that's what I would do if you had a full shot like that. Oh, but then, you know, I, I know, I love all the texture work in this, of course. This is so fast, look at this, frame by frame. We're going from here, it's still clean though. We can, like a good read, clean as in it's a, it's a clean read in terms of silhouette, you got your negative space. Big post change. Look at this from here to here with the clothes. Look at this in real time. And just reads well enough. Look at this. It reads well enough to do bam. I'm going to hold this. I need to grab this. And then I'm going to close this. A clean beats. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so cute how the arms come. Crap. Oh yes, then we're in the land of multiples. She has actually one when she gets, when she uh, leans out of the window. Just one leg there. Oh, so great. It just to me feels like Spider-Verse, first one, even in this one. Like even, like I'm getting out of the, the uh, off the bed to grab this, to throw it out. I feel like all the mechanics shot in that movie and this trailer are just really interesting in terms of just the posing, look at this. Hand pose, how he has to look, how he gets up into like all scrunched here, <laughs> into a big anticipation, into that. Just the way he does that leg up into like who throws like this <laughs> straight up like that. And it's already off the hand, you got your lines here. One frame pop there. I don't know, to me, like the body mechanics are always super interesting. And how he goes seamlessly from this into that leg going forward into this under the under the, the the bed. And even then he sees there's more. <laughs> you can see that change through there. Look at this, leg changes while this is kind of staying there into, oh, into this. this, is so great. I know, this, this is one of those analysis where I just go frame by frame, go, this is so great, but it is so great. This is something I really need to go on my own and have another rig in there, put this in Maya, and then replicate it. Like when, 
when do they move like wh how long do they hold one frame or not even again back to head accents with her right watch her even just that right has a little bit of a move up and a slight roll and then back onto no like it's a bit more scrunched together with the head bringing it down and then still she's aware of things and noise so that she looks back there but it's simple you might think this is really simple but it's not it just adds adds enough life with that move and over and then down you can see how the head goes down to the right and this is something i mentioned a lot of the students to just not do a one axis change right it doesn't always have to be all of them especially in a style like this where you can get away with held poses and things like this where it's more locked but you do want to engage multiple axes and not just stay in one it just gives you enough organic feel that it's you know not robotic clean three pen poses come on <laughs> nice come on oh i love how this stays put the lines here you can really see how long we hold frame 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 and then off beautiful hand poses really just frame my frame through all the awesomeness that too like the holds and the weight that's a great pose <laughs> me me no never so good and here i thought i should not look at this frame by frame let's see here so she zips that in here even this here probably all controlled frame by frame animated no sin there this is great too just a little bit i know it's like one of those silly things but you have a shot like this right you want to continue with a little bit of motion but that's matching the energy and also how she feels you know this wouldn't be like a sharp little thumb push i don't know it seems silly to mention but it is important even if it's something like that you got to think about all of this i love all that i know silly every frame is great nice hand pose that's nice oh her health look oh great way too like that would be even this would be a great assignment i'm really torturing my students by pairing the shots down to something very very short but you look at this here. you got the weight on the shoulder so you have a nice line of action with the weight on this and then you got the deflation here and then the swing with the arm right so watch this and boom, boom. but there's just enough weight you you buy the mechanics and you have a little bit of a pendulum swing with that arm but it's still personality driven as in oh man so you have really nice texture in the timing of how that head drops because it's not just a physical drop like in terms of physics and timing it's a bit held and then it goes into a stronger drop but it's still you can see how the head is going a little bit this way because that arm swing is going to pull the body over so everything has that overriding move this way and that's it like this should be an assignment for students instead of doing a 20 second crazy town to lip sync assignment that's just so much work this is great i love this ready that actually reminds me hold on cameron fielding shot i'll go forward and this so when the newspaper goes up here watch this here this section oh, always love that i always show this to my students where you can do all the awesome stuff in here but i love the sense of timing and the way just of this anyway slight reminder when you watch this here and love this though <laughs> love that it grabs it without looking also still clean though right thumb anticipation and grab and then you got this here a little tiny detail but you grab it and you compress because you're just going to hold on to this so that magazine is going to go the book the sketchbook is going to go down just enough and then she can let go and we buy the weight there and he pulls it faster and then you have a bit of a drag in this corner see that how that kind of stays put it's also on her a little bit but I love her turn <laughs> even this here that slight little head tilt over as she looks at him Beep. then a little bit more oh look at that just a little bit of up and over just that little two that little to add that to the eyebrow accent just to have the head up a bit and I'm nerding out on this but I'm telling you these are all the little things that are missing in soon shots so students watch this just enough oh, just such a great attitude and then how long she looks with a really nice turn oh, into that feeling that 
change in the hips and then as the root goes up on that move over you can hear you can feel up and down oh, so good it's a long shot too so much to look at that's great too the complexity of this here the weight on this then the relaxation of that and then coming up here with the rhythm watch how he goes up holds a bit and takes that step up and go this too i know i'm running out but the rhythm of this hand hold and down there's a lot of so it's like a little pattern of hold go hold go it's like this shot hold on it's another older shot that i shot my students all the time but it's kind of the hold down and he has it later on as well hold down hold down like that type of thing just you see that a lot it's kind of that, that specific rhythm of because you don't want it to be even like this you have a bit of a up and down hold and down watch this that's great subtle but i'm telling you just get a little extra texture in your timing this is great i was actually looking at this before how we go from clean pose i love the asymmetry really nice hand pose pop into this look at that nice clean pose nice look there a twist and turn and then how we do a sit down over two frames and then slight compression in the shoulder the chest down and the head and then that's it watch us in real time and this works and you still have if you look at the feet they go out this way right you have a little bit of compression out pushing out this way but it's so limited in its essence right that's all you need nice hand poses there look at this nice finger grouping into that and again head accent ready just want to get out of here just a little down that goes down with the eyebrows and then we're a lot smooth and kind of back on once a little bit a really nice asymmetry still feel the squishiness even like in limited style you still are limited as in like holding on twos and stuff you don't get to do all the little details like on ones but you do feel it and i love this again it's that little raise on the eyebrows and the lids but it brings the head up again i can tell you so many times and it sounds very disparaging towards students it's not that's not how i mean it like i was going to say a student would have just have opened the eye and that's it without adding that extra feel in the head which is normal. Like, you know, you go through your learning process and you're not thinking just yet about those details. All I'm saying is that as the students watch these, analyze this, go frame by frame and look at what's happening as the eyebrow goes up. Because you, you can't know, you're a student, you're starting out new, you're learning already so much about body mechanics and you're not there yet to think about all those details. But it's cool to observe. And I think it's just something you need to keep in mind as you're still learning the basics, right? As you go through things like this standing up and all the details of the mechanics and balance and weight and then as you move you know forward in your career and your journey as an animator you can start thinking about all this little extra polishy details so if you're a student you're going man why am i not thinking of all of this well how can you <laughs> how can you you're you're starting out you have so much to learn this is normal not to put that in there but i think it's cool to just pay attention to it that's what i was looking at before three legs right there I love how each frame is just different. It's still super clean. But I love how slowly she goes back. So great. And that little look at the hand that goes up into a nice, just for a moment, silhouette with the light. And how those fingers, look at that. That's a nice pose. Like she's resting like spider, spider hands, finger poses till the very end. So great. Love this. How it's overexposed with the light into this. Even in here, this is why I'm doing it. Watch, watch your head. He goes, is Spider-Man grounded? Spider-Man grounded? Oh, just that little, little round turn. Oh, this, I love this. I know it's super weird. There's so much awesome stuff through there. Where am I? I'm scrubbing through like awesome stuff in terms of action. But I am nerding out. Oh, it does that little thing. So good. And of course, just the visuals of this. Ah, oh, so good. Love that shot. Come on. Great silhouette. This too. Really? Come on. 
Huh? Oh, it's so good. Goes down with a little bit of an up at the end. And boop. Oh, so good. This to me is just as important to be able to nail something like this. And okay. Like what comes first, right? Go the widening of huh? Raising of eyebrows. This is like quintessential pantomime, right? You have nothing in the face besides eyes. And I love this here. Just a little, the little looks. Of, uh, uh, wait, I, I guess. Oh, so good. So good. And then, then we're getting into crazy town. Like every frame, crazy town. It's great. Sometimes hard to see though. Look at that. Always super clean poses. Great design. Let's scrub forward a little bit here. Look at that. Something I read just, just yesterday, apparently. So each each universe is gonna have its own different style. Look at this. What? So cool. Yeah, it's crazy town. But really nice flow in terms of action. Just that. Just holding a little bit, quiet, and then into clean, clean pose for this. And then you got your camera on ones, but your action on twos with a what is this? That's my dog coming in. Even he's excited to see this. A stylized lens flare. Only macro. Just so cool. Oh, look at this. That's something I need to go through again. I mean, this is already, what is this? Like almost half an hour already. <laughs> I'm just looking at like what is scrambling, what is kind of holding. So you don't want just moving stuff all the time. That's great too. You can see that slight hold in this pose while the arms are doing their thing. Beautiful, beautiful poses. Oh, I love this. Twirl around that. Actually, with the foot wave, is that? Ah, <laughs> oh, so great. All of this, all of these poses. Come on. Beautiful. I love it. I mean, this is really, as I was watching this frame by frame before starting the recording, I'm like, okay, well, this is basically that whole ending here. It's just frame by frame awesomeness. Then this guy, too. The rhythm of this, of how he grabs him, let's play this here. All of this, right? You got the quick moment of whoosh, boom. Again, fast hold, fast down in all of this. Just reading just enough to see this here. It's great. You still, it's it's complicated, it's action-y, but you do feel that hold. That's great too. Just that impact there, boom. And with this, just enough of a hold, right? It's not too crazy to get contrast of this, nice pose, into bam, to that contrast move there. Also cool look here. Oh, there's so much stuff going on here. Still all reads. Oh, look at this, beautiful changes in, oh, so good. I love this too. Again, how it reads well, the out of control moments, especially the big eyes there. Whoa, and then enough to read in looking back and then for him to come in here. That's great. The whole of this here, right? You got that impact. And this. There's enough of oh, how he leads. Come on. Beautiful pose there. Into this. Look at that. Stretch. Everything is just oh, stretch this way and then oh, look at this. How much he leads with this into that throw, into this. Holy moly, that's the end. What is going on? So much awesome stuff. Yeah, clearly I'm smitten. I'm so smitten that I'm recording this on a Sunday, by the way. <laughs> My uh, I don't do anything on weekend uh, rule, thrown out the window because of Spider-Verse, because come on, it's awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna stop, this is really, really long, but I love it, I love seeing all this. Hats off to everybody involved. And what I love, especially, just when you thought this is so awesome, what? <laughs> We're getting two? We're getting two movies. I love it. There's so much to go through. Can't wait, October 7th. That's a long time to go through, hopefully some more teasers and trailers till then, but this has everything that I love. Great posing, lots of great head accents, prop animation, because I really like animating props. Nice subtle camera stuff that works. There's so much in there, it's so cool. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Watch this if you're student, go through this frame by frame, analyze everything. There's so much you can learn from this. Hell poses, the timing of this. 
And yeah, we'll leave it at that. It's great. Thanks for everybody involved for doing this. This is so cool. It's made my day yesterday and it's making my day right now. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. And uh, maybe I'll see you in another clip or you can see me or hear me. Anyway, uh, I'll leave it at that. Thanks.